Praise God and praise God and praise God. How are we doing? Uh, and welcome to Sunday Praise, and I'm Bryant William Hewitt, coming to you live from Los Angeles as we share in the beautiful day, the beautiful truth of the Lord, guiding each and every one of us from that throne room to your own personal walk, personal touch, personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And boy, what a week and weekend it's already been. We, we lift up all those to follow a direct path, to get into a new life, and to follow in the sensational truth how God can bring it all to us. In Jesus' name. We're going to be in Galatians chapter 2, Galatians chapter 2, and we're going to be speaking about your walk. We're going to be going in with the flow and just lifting up his mighty praise. So before we get going, on behalf of Anita Hewitt, just come and visit us and visit her at Anita Hewitt Food for the Soul over Blogger, as well as our YouTube channel at Brian Hewitt YouTube. So, and also visit us over our website at BrianHewitt.com, BrianHewitt.com. Let's go before the throne, the throne of God and pray. Pray up. Dear Jesus, we love you. We thank you for this new blessed Sunday or Monday morning, wherever we are living. We thank you for all the beautiful truth, the time, and your timing, O oh Lord. This is about your timing, your endless rhyme that brings us to the road of grace, that brings us to eternity. We ask and lift up the praise to, to guide us and direct us into your strength. Not our strength, but your strength, your dreams, not our dreams. Your vision, not our vision. In Jesus' matchless name. And now, uh, if you got your finger in Galatians 2, go down to verse 20. And here we are. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and saved and gave himself for me. Verse 21 I do not frustrate the grace of God, for does righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So it is not by the Old Testament law, not to be confused with the law of the land. The law of the land we do have to respect. But when Jesus came, died, and the veil was rent, Grace was born, and the old law passed away. So, yet it is by the righteousness of God we have this new life. It is by the righteousness of God that we have that opportunity to have that personal relationship with the Lord. So all of us can say and start out verse 20, chapter 2, verse 20 in Galatians, I am crucified with Christ. We need to breathe a new breath of fresh air. We need to understand with our discernment of wisdom that what is being presented in the end times today, along with the false teaching that we heard about through Huffington Post the other day, we must be step up and be that example. We don't have to be a millionaire. We can be as poverty, living on food stamps to set that time forward to a new life, a new path. And God will restore all. God will provide for you all. And do not worry about any provision because God will bring them to you. But it is by this substance of the truth. It is by the substance of the grace. Knowing that the ways of man are now prom promoting more hate versus what is love. Promoting what is confusion. What is God's grace. And they're being held by the one and only the author of confusion, that's Satan. We sing unto his life, and we sing unto his love. We sing for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ forever and a day. We sing this for the now of faith. We sing this for the ever-growing expression of love that we have a depth in our heart. We go from the health issues that I had, my wife has had, we, with our faith, and the faith that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, we knew this would be a new day. And the new day, did, for me, didn't happen for two years, over two years and a month. Yes. And it is coming by His love. It is coming by His touch. It is coming by His expression that we have and know and feel. Yet faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. 
found in Hebrews 11 verse 1. We could go into the flow and we bring up the prayer. We turn ourselves over to the Lord and cry out, Lord, take me, love me, I'm yours. Yes. Bring me to the mountaintop. Yes. Yet bring me to the valleys to strengthen me and bring me up again so I can change those around me. And God will bring you a new set of people to teach you His Word. He will provide for you the right path to get yourself into that faith-based Bible-believing church. Midweek Bible study, Sunday service of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. We come into this glory of the now. And we sing of the truth, we sing of that, that expression. We don't have to disember any part of our life or compromise our life just to have that substance of a lifestyle. We don't have to move anything out of the way for anybody. If someone says, get thee out of my way, that's Satan talking through them. God would never say, get out of my way. God will bring his ministering angels around you. God will bring all, all this, his expression of love to you. God will give you that new heart. And God's love, the beautiful thing about God's love, it's not so much saying, I love a sport game, I love the seventh game of the World Series or the hockey game or the NBA All-Star game. His love will take all of eternity to explain from each and every one of us. Yes. And eternity has no end. There's no end to the cable subscription. There's no end to the TV series. It's the beautiful truth what eternity is all about. Eternity. So neither any of us with our prayers can change God. Sorry about that, Houston. Nor, let's just put it this way. God may love the individual, but God hates the sin. Yes. Okay. So, and also we are in that circus atmosphere of the United States Election Day. So you have the seed. Use it for to vote. Use it. You you have that expression. You have that knowledge. Use it. Don't don't sit on it because you don't like the candidates. Use it because that is your that is your seed. And of this time, the scripture. Have all the scriptures written in your heart to change to change those definitely around you. When you change those around you, you move into a higher calling to the world, to the region, to everything. Brethren, this is a new day for you. This is a beautiful sunny day, even if it's raining outside, snowing. This is your sunshine bringing you from from the water. Now you are oil, the anointing relationship of oil. Amen. But once you have that hand touch and you are anointed by God's blessed oil, your life has truly changed. This is the time of the service, brethren, that those who don't know Christ, yes, yes. to get in touch with us, yet right here, right now to move forward onto your knees, onto your chairs, anywhere you are, just walking around and to turn it over to God. You will no other individual anything but a quality, healthy, spiritual life. Do your best to repeat this after me. Dear Lord, I know I am a sinner. I turn my life over to you, O Lord, to take me, love me, I'm yours. I know that you are the Son of God that came down to earth to rise on the third day and had his outstretched arms on the cross to invite us all in for your embrace for all of eternity. We thank you for all that you say and all that you do in Jesus' matchless name. If you did your best to say that prayer after me, that's my wife praise your name in the background. I am praising your name, but most importantly, the angels of heaven are singing your name. 
before the throne of God, before the throne of God. Brethren, put it all on the altar, let God say, Lord, take me, love me, I'm yours. And in this time, in this moment of change, you definitely will never forget this. God's going to give you the new, new heart. God's going to give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God's moving a new you inside of all of you. In Jesus' name. Yeah, before I close out, I just, again, come visit us at uh, BrianTrude.com. The new of our ministries, uh, MCM Ministries, Bible LA is, is the church name. Wish to send us a, a, a donation. Click on our contact link. To make check, check payable to MCM Ministries or, or Morningstar Communications Network. We sing you in the love of the truth, Lord. We sing you the love of the Lord. Let's go. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our heart before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank the unity, of the Holy Spirit, to be of one mind and with judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth, higher truth, such as free. And we thank you for all that you say, all that you do on this blessed new day. In Jesus' much His name. So, brethren, on behalf of all of us throughout the world of MCM Ministries, Bible OLA, and, of course, the anointed and appointed one, Evangelist Anita Hewitt, and myself, Brother Brian Hewitt, we thank you for your time. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people. And praise God and praise God and praise God.